Hey guys, DJ LeFave here with some exciting, exciting news. We finally have loyalty points for working for Twitch, for YouTube Live, for Facebook Live. Uh, it's just like channel points on Twitch, except you don't need to be affiliate on YouTube. You don't need to be a partner. It's all, uh, it's, it's awesome. I can't wait to show you, all right? I've been wanting this for a long time, and I was working with a developer named Chris who works for Touch Portal. We're going to get into it. Stick around, and here we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just so excited, so excited. Here we go. Uh, like I said, this will work for Twitch. This will work for Facebook Live. And yes, this will work for YouTube live streams. This is huge, huge, huge. Why is it huge? Well, let's talk about what does this mean? Well, when a user redeems something in the chat, like redeem green, that, that's something that we, we just created, right? Then uh, something awesome happens, right? A pre-built action happens on screen, on screen, on screen, on stream, just like this. So you see that? So th that's very, very simple, right? You could do so many more elaborate things, but this is just awesome, awesome uh, interface with chat and now with your OBS instance. How does this happen? Well, we're doing this working with Touch Portal Pro with uh, the Streamlabs plugin and through the, the magic of Streamlabs, all right? So this is just amazing, amazing, amazing. If you guys want to learn more about this as I keep on progressing with this, like, comment, share, subscribe, do all those good things like you know you're supposed to do on a YouTube video. And let's get right into how this all happens, all right? The first thing you need to do is we're going to set up our Streamlabs. This is the first portion. This is all web-based. You do not need to be on Streamlabs. Note, I use OBS, regular OBS Studio. This is not at all related to having to use the Streamlabs uh, desktop version, not at all, but everything happens through here, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come into here and you're gonna click on the dashboard, all right? Get, get into your dashboard. Now, once you're in your dashboards, I want you to click on settings and then see which accounts you guys have linked up. Right now, I only have my YouTube account linked up and just make sure that that's under the account settings, all right? The next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna go to the CloudBot, okay? Click on CloudBot, it's gonna bring you right here. Activate the CloudBot by clicking this button. Now, if you're using YouTube, this is how you add it to a moderator. This is the way it's able to grab the information from the chat. So all you do is click on this, click on this, and uh, you wanna copy, copy this whole thing right here, copy. And if you have Twitch or Facebook, it's gonna tell you what you need to do to add it in at that point. Go into your YouTube, down here in settings, you click on the community tab, inside of here right click and paste and then just hit enter and what that ends up doing is it's already added we're going to add Streamlabs as a moderator and then save let's get back into our dashboard so under cloudbot go to the loyalty tab all right this is called loyalty points and it's operated through Streamlabs. make sure that the system is enabled you can keep the name as points or whatever. I'm gonna mess around with points per interval. Right now, I kind of use the default. If somebody subscribes to your channel, they get 50 points. If they're a member, become a member, which, hey, become a member on my channel. It's 99 cents a month uh, at the starting tier, and I do a whole bunch of cool things, including live member shout outs on the, on the live stream, and I also create a specialized uh, super chat for you, which may turn into a loyalty point redemption real soon, who knows? And then if they donate to you via Streamlabs or Super Chat, that's on YouTube. Now, notice this right here. If they donate to you on Streamlabs, again, you don't need to be a partner. You don't need to be an affiliate to, to use the Streamlabs donation. So another thing to keep in mind when, when utilizing this whole program. All right. The next thing we're going to do is you click on Store. Okay. Store is where you actually create the items that people are going to end up redeeming inside of chat. Uh, again, the redeem command, I didn't show you, but if you go under commands and you go under default, you get to see as you scroll down all of the different um, commands that are here. So you've got points, top list to display the top users based on points and whatnot. What we are going to do is now we're inside the store. We're going to click on create new item. So this is going to be a stream perk. And for instance, we're going to call this one uh, green two, just because I already have green one made. And you get to toggle the cost. So the cost of this is going to be, we'll make this worth three points to do it. You need to have some sort of description in here. So we're just going to write description. And that's cool. 
And quantity means how many do you want to be able to be redeemed during a show. Maybe you have a very special effect that you only want redeemed one time. So whoever has that amount of points can only do it one time per stream. Makes it very, very special. And again, if I didn't say this already, loyalty points are going to get viewers not only to come to your stream, but to continue watching. What's going to happen next? Maybe the longer I watch, the more points I'm going to get, the more I can interact with the stream itself. It's really, really just an amazing feature. You can add a cooldown, um, and you can also add a user cooldown. So say you had a really cheap loyalty that maybe played a DJ horn, right? Just a, just a DJ horn. <laughs> And then you wanted to, maybe you made that really, really cheap, but you wanted users to be able to redeem that every like five minutes, right? So one user every five minutes could redeem it. And then we're going to click next. The next thing you need to do is you need to pick a thumbnail. You need to pick one. You can upload anything you want. I'm just going to do this, this blank guy right here. And make sure that redeem shows alert is checked. These two need to be checked, 100% need to be checked. Um, I worked with the developer, Chris, which we're going to get to in a moment, and he was just amazing, amazing guy to work on, work with. He did the plugin with me. Uh, we, we, we talked to Streamlabs. This is just, ah, I'm so excited about this. I hope you can hear it and feel it in my voice, and definitely tune into one of my live streams for for just another know, one. Another one. You have to add a sound for this to work. It could be anything. The sound doesn't actually play. Uh, then we click uh, oh, right here. This is very important. You need to write what the redeem command is going to be. So here we're going to write green two. So when someone types in in the chat exclamation point redeem space green two, then this action that we built out in OBS is going to take place. Again, that's a very, very simplified action. You guys can get as elaborate as you want, as elaborate as you want. It could play a video, a sound bite. It can move things around. Uh, the creativity is 100% in your bag to do, okay? And now we're going to click save. There are no requirements. You don't need anything there. Now, if you don't want the Streamlabs alert box essentially to show up during, during this, go to alert box. And then for cloud bot redemption, just click disabled. That means nothing that you added, the thumbnail or the sound effect, none of that's going to take place. Now, again, all these links are going to be in the description. The next thing that is super, super important, you need touch portal. You need touch portal. And more than that, you don't need, just need touch portal. In order to utilize this program, you got to cough up the $12.99. It's a lifetime license. The community is incredible on Discord. Everyone is so helpful. You'll definitely see me out there in the Discord, and I'll be doing much more videos to help show you and help you use your, your touch portal. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my live streams are basically how to stream, how to use Virtual DJ, how to use fun things like Touch Portal, Stream Deck, Interfacing, BitFocus Companion, all of these fun things I just like to learn, and then I like to teach. So definitely hit the bell for notifications of when I go live. All right. And finally, 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 once you have your Streamlabs set up, once you have your, your touch portal purchased, then you need to go to this link, which will be in the description to purchase, to, to purchase, no, to download for free the Streamlab, Streamlabs plugin, which was created by Chris right up here. Chris, big shout out to Chris. <laughs> you know, you're the man. You helped figure this out 100%. Uh, this needs to be at least version 4.0 whatever or greater that we, we just added this just released today it's going to be incredible download and buy the guy a cup of coffee all right he put so much work into this and this is just amazing amazing stuff so for those of you who do care this is what um what was added okay what was added to this right now is for youtube uh let's see redemption store redemption product that was important and username was added okay so once you downloaded this and all that we're all good let's get into touch portal so you open up touch portal you have the plugin installed for those of you who don't know how to install the plugin just go to this little gearbox up here click down import plugin and then add it and then you're good to go this is what you get. You get pages, values, events, flows, assets, all that. I'm only going to show you what you need to know right now to make this happen. So go to flows. Okay, flows, it's a global flow. This is uh, kind of how you create something that can be reused throughout inside of Touch Portal. Click on add new flow. Now I've already created one, so we're going to do this called green test. I'm going to click edit. So inside of this flow, all I'm doing is I created a color source inside of OBS and I'm showing it, waiting half a second and I'm hiding it. And then I'm showing it, waiting half a second and I'm hiding it. To do that, you just go in here, you click on OBS and type in so, well, 
just type in source, right? And this is going to say underneath OBS, you can set source visibility. Now, if you created more dynamic items that include filters, such as the move transition filter, which I've shown you guys how to do it in the past on this show, and I'll, I'll be more than willing if you just drop a comment, leave me a note, I'll, I'll show you how to do more and more, more fun, 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 fun things. All right. But for now, this is what we did. We've, we've created, we've created this, this thing is going to happen. That, that is what this just created. And I'll be happy to go further in that in other videos. If all you guys have to do is ask. Now, going to events, we're going to add an event. Now, because I've already added this one, this one is called loyalty points. So for loyalty points, what you want to do is you want to add a when this plugin state changes. So to show you how to do that, you're going to up here for the event, you're going to click the down button, and then you're going to find out value when plugin state changes. So right here, it's a uh, value. I think it's at the bottom value when plugin state changes click on that now when this pops up you're going to get this little down arrow and we're going to pick the value that's changing so right now we want for streamlabs last loyalty store redemption username click on that and then the down the drop down box does not change to leave this box blank that that doesn't need to have anything else in it okay so now the flow of actions okay so if the Streamlabs last loyalty store redemption product. How do I get that? Click the, you want to add an if function. So that is underneath logic. You're gonna bring in an if statement and then you just click the down arrow here and you say other states and then you go to touch portal Streamlabs plugin and we're going to say that if the Streamlabs last loyalty store redemption product, last loyalty store redemption product is and that was the name that we created. So I'm gonna delete this because we've already have it in here. Yeah, delete it. Okay, so if it is shade, then run this flow that we just created. If the product is green, which we, we, we named the new one green too, but I'll, I'll leave it as green for now because that's what I, I, I truly have it set up as. And then execute flow. How do you get this execute flow button? We'll go into the search and just type flow. And then it comes up here, you click on it, it shows up down here. And then all of the pre-built flows that you have will show up. Green test is the one that we just did. Um, there we go, and we'll say delete for there. And then when you're all done with this, you're going to click save. That's it. Now you have created your, you, you've created it. It's good to go, 100% good to go. Uh, let's see, so now that you have all of that done, you, you basically have, you have to pre-build the things in OBS. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do that here. This is just to let you know that you now have loyalty points, channel points if you want to call it, whatever you want, a way for users to earn points while they watch your stream and then to do fun things on your stream. Some of the ones that I have, have built up are like throw shade. Check it out. That's right. So people now uh, can redeem points and they can make me, you know, uh, DJ LeFave Digital. Really, really fun stuff. I have a whole bunch of other things that people could do when they come into the stream and just have fun with it. It's 100% having fun. So I hope you guys are loving, loving, loving this, this new functionality that is available. I wanted to get this out to you. That way you know that you could start doing this and start just totally making anything like you were in a Twitch affiliate. And it could be on any, any service, YouTube, Facebook, or, or Twitch even. Again, you don't even have to be an affiliate or a partner on Twitch to make this happen. It all operates through Stream Deck. Uh, know, through Stream Deck. Through, through, <laughs> through Touch Portal and through the plugin done by Touch Portal. Touch Portal, Touch Portal, Touch Portal. There I said it. A uh, big shout out to Ty Touch Portal or Ty Portal <laughs> on, uh, on, on the Discord. Thank you guys for putting out such an incredible product. Thank you to the folks at Streamlabs for helping us out and giving us access to, uh, to some of the features to make this thing work. And big, 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 big shout out. Big shout out to Chris. Again, if you guys have a couple bucks to send him away to, for, for what he has done to help us get this functionality now in YouTube live streams, I hope to see you guys at my live streams. It's just going to be amazing. And again, hey, hey let's, let's get over there. Here we go. Warping on down. Warping on down. Uh, this is what I do with my live streams, man. This is 100% this is what I do. Zooming on out. I show you guys how to do stuff inside of Touch Portal, inside of OBS, inside of whatever. If it's technical, I'm, I'm all there for you, man. I, I just, just love having a good time, love learning stuff, love teaching it to you. So like, comment, subscribe, share, and become a member. You know, it's always a fun time. All right? So remember, in a world full of creators, 
be an innovator. I'm DJ LeFave, and I'll see you on my next live stream. Out.